when Kate does arrive for the wedding. She's not going to be in the beautiful Cinderella-style glass coat that we want to look at her. She's going to be in a car, which is a huge mistake, because let's face it, we're not taking an ugly sister to the ball. We are taking Cinderella, and, and everybody wants to see her. If only Neil Sean were Kate's fairy godmother, but the bride-to-be, who turns 29 next Sunday, will arrive by car and then leave with William by royal carriage. According to the palace, the April 29th wedding will begin at 11 a.m. in Westminster Abbey, and Neil says the bride and groom will not have many friends in attendance. Bottom line is that they are only looking so far, guys, at just 30 guests between them. This is because at a royal wedding, the dignitaries normally get the, the, you know, the biggest sort of slice of the cake. To reiterate, that's only 15 guests each for William and Kate. The second exclusive we can tell you is that Prince Charles, get this for a wedding present, at the royal wedding banquet, he's going to be providing uh, not just some, but most of the food from his Duchy of Cornwall range, including green beans, potatoes and the salad. So will the first dance be to some stuffy traditional tune? Their first dance may be the Body Rockers, which is their song. Do you know that song, I Like the Way You Move? I like the way you move. And Neil says Prince William's friend David Beckham will likely be a guest. I would lay money on the fact that the Beckhams are going to be there. I'm not so convinced about Sir Elton John and don't believe the hype about George Michael. I think he can imagine anybody wanting him to drive anybody to a wedding. I don't think so.